it's come that time in mine and Adam's relationship where we just can't hack it together. So I'm going to have to do it by myself. It's a shame, but time will heal and it will all be okay. Good morning guys, how are you? Today is gonna be weird. It's gonna be a little bit different. Basically, I'm going out alone. It's come that time in mine and Adam's relationship where we just can't hack it together, so I'm gonna have to do it by myself. It's a shame, but time will heal and it will all be okay. Just kidding, we're not breaking up or anything weird. Um, he's in Paris. And so today I'm by myself and I thought, yeah, I'm gonna film because I'm bored. Well, I'm not bored. I've got lots of little things to do and I thought you guys might wanna see. So starting off, I've gotta make Adam a birthday card. Bearing in mind, it's been a couple of days since his birthday. Awkward. But we haven't done presents and stuff yet. So I thought I'll just slip in the card later as well. So here goes. Right, I've got my card making supplies ready we've got a ruler we've got some card some scissors some glue and some pens doesn't matter what pens i've also got a magazine the only one i've got is brian's magazine so in case you want to like cut out some fun patterns and things like that you can use magazine um i've also got lots of coloring pencils in there first thing you're going to want to do is select your color of card i'm going to go with green because i mean obviously these are the two more boy ones but I like green and it's gonna have to be up in our room so we're going with green so everybody knows that a card you have to open it you can't just have one flappy piece of paper it needs to be folded so to do it the right way you want to measure from this end to this end halve it and then you want to like score a line with like a ruler or a pencil or whatever you want to do so you can fold it in half I've blue pleated this and I've already done it and here is my card folded in half so now we can get decorating the front so i think i'm gonna go with a birthday cake for the front and it can be like lots of layers and just one big birthday cake with like a candle maybe and then like happy birthday so you always have to think about what you're gonna put on there first don't just start because well then normally it ends up as like a get well soon card or something and that would be awkward so to achieve my cake i think i'm gonna use like collage and so i might flick through my brides magazine See if there's any cool textures and colours that I can do like a layered cake. So I found these fun little colours, textures, they're a bit girly but I think mixed in with maybe just some plain paper would be quite cool. I also found these really cute H&Bs and I thought it was like happy birthday so I might just do like HB, HBM, happy birthday mate. Um, I've also drawn on, you can hardly see, a huge like four tier cake, it's not very well drawn on, there's a little candle on top. Um, and then I'll use this as my template and then just fill in bits of colours and stuff like that. We'll see how it goes. It might not work. I'm really not the artist of our little family. It's definitely Adam. So we'll see how this goes. Right, I've cut out my shapes and I've arranged them. And you might be thinking, okay Hope, you've used Brides Magazine. It's looking very girly and it's also looking very much like a wedding cake. I see that too. Don't don't worry, I see that too. But I'm gonna use like little things and do loads of candles all over it and it's gonna work, okay? It's going to work because it has to work because it just has to. So just bear with me, have some faith, have some hope. I'm gonna do this. Right, see, now we have a girly wedding cake that's exploding with party poppers. We're getting there. This is gonna be the best birthday card ever. I'd just like to explain that there are 23 weird streamer things coming out of this card. So even if it looks odd, at least it's accurate. Okay. Woohoo. Now the streamers are lipsticks. I'm going to put these little things on here now. And I think I might just put them like that. And then it'll just be like abbreviation. And come on. Like, I don't think this is that bad. Okay. It's interpretive or surreal we're going with it and it's finished i think it's cute right is it cute 
cute? Is it awful? Is it really girly? Probably. But I'll just write some like really soppy stuff inside and then it'll be fine. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Had a slight interruption there from uh, Rihanna, who is my maid of honour and my bestie. Um, she just gave me a quick call and it was nice to catch up. It's always nice to catch up with friends, isn't it? Like, we don't see each other that often. I don't see any of my, like, closest friends and the girls who are going to be my bridesmaids very often at all. But it's one of those things that, you know, when you have those friendships, you don't see them for very long. But then when you do see them... It's like completely back to normal. Anyway, on to round two of collaging. Slightly different, although using the same magazine. Um, brides. I am obviously planning a wedding. We've got this book here, which I got for my birthday actually. And it's basically like a scrapbook of the things that we want. And also like little notes and lists that we both make. I think I might have shown you guys this before. Um, so at the moment it's all looking a bit boring and numbers and money and blah 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 and it's all boring. So I am going to start with this and I've already cut out some like dresses and just like patterns and stuff. That's not the one I want, that's the one I want. I'm like what? Why would I have cut this out? This is so not me. Yeah, this is more me. Um, my friend Ree who I just told you about, where is it, bought me this book which I love it don't you think it's so cute it's like my little wedding book and then it says when we were engaged um and then it says on the back like hope and adam um and then inside it just says like bride's name i still need to fill this out hope and adam and then it's got like a page for like writing and then like a little checklist obviously like we had already started this one um but I'm thinking that I might make this like my wedding dress book and then maybe might even sharpie it my little wedding dress book. Um, because like I don't want Adam seeing that kind of stuff. Like it's fine for him to see like these, 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 these pictures now. Um, but like when we start actually shopping, like I might like put little snippets of me in dresses and like the real thing. So I might go ahead and use that one for my wedding dress just so I can kind of keep it away from him and then I can take this out with me when we go shopping and it's a little less chunky than this big book. Hi. Um, so I think it's like, I don't know, like two or three hours later. Um, I've had phone calls from Ray. I've had phone calls from my mum. I've been on the phone to Vodafone all afternoon trying to sort out a new contract. There's just been a lot going on. I did a little bit of book, 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 booking, booking, um, like collaging of dresses, so I can show you that now, but yeah, it's not much, it's not much. So I filled this in with my people, wrote a little message, and just put in some pictures. I need to put this one in. I thought this was cute, not that I would ever wear it, and I wouldn't really ever get my belly out either. So I've just cut out a couple of pictures, but I haven't really done an awful lot. Um... I think tonight I'm just going to chill now. I'm tired. I've, I've had enough cutting and sticking. So I might pop over to Tesco's, get some food, and just watch The X Factor. <laughs> Anyone watch The X Factor? Yeah, I'm going to do that. I spoke to Adam earlier as well. He gave me a call. He said he's loving life. Well, he was actually a little bit grumpy, but he, I think he's really enjoyed his trip. So I'm excited to see him tomorrow. Tomorrow evening he'll be back. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, me and my day alone. Sorry if it was really weird. It has been weird just talking to a camera. It's been more like heightened that it's just you and it's not anybody else. And I'm more like conscious of it, which is really bizarre. But it's been fun. I enjoyed hanging out with you guys. Bit of quality time, one on one. So yeah, I'll say goodbye. Love ya. See you when I see you. Bye. <laughs>